Did you know that Aiken has a Saber Academy? It's one of the few lightsaber combat schools in the world. They offer multiple programs, from fencing techniques to building self-confidence and leadership skills in teens and adults. And to talk about the Academy and about the lightsabers too, which is very cool, I love this. Uh, we have Tony Negron and uh, Nick Palmer here uh, joining us this morning. Hey guys, good morning. Hey, well morning. Thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, my handle in the lightsaber community is Commander. Commander, but well. you guys obviously can call me Tony, but thank I, you. I bow to you, sir. <laughs> uh, before we start, we, we did bring a gift from the Academy, so we oh. have challenge coins. So this goes, oh, if you're in the military, right. on one side is the logo of the Academy, and on the second side are the core values of the Academy. So courage, Very awareness, cool. determination, Very and integrity. Cool. So thank you hopefully guys. enjoy the, enjoy thank the gift. Thank you. Thank you so really much. We appreciate that. Oh, our pleasure. Okay, We're excited so to learn. We had the Sabre Academy here in Aiken. Tell us a little bit about it and how it came about. Well, when I retired from the military, I taught junior ROTC in high school. When I retired from that job, I was looking for another way to continue teaching um, and working with young people. I didn't want to go play pickleball. I didn't want to go play golf. Nothing wrong with those, right. but I wanted to do something that was a little bit more giving back to the community. So one of my former students, um, is a Star Wars fan, and I'm a Star Wars fan, and we went together, we brought some really cheap lightsabers, beat each other at a, at a park, and we said, well, this is kind of cool. As one does. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly, <laughs> so then we went to YouTube, and we discovered it in YouTube that lightsaber combat is a thing. Well, long story short, uh, here we are since 2018, and we have evolved from the park, and we are now a city program, thanks to uh, Aiken City Council at, at the Recreation Center in Aiken. And just some of the photos yeah. that you see from the uh, from the group, very cool stuff. I know, this is really neat. So tell us, who can join and what kind of requirements do you need? And as far as gear goes, I'm turning this over. Yeah, so uh, we accept students from 14, 15 on up to 50. Our eldest student has been 78 so far, uh -huh. um, a former fencer. And the requirements are just to really show up. Um, we try to make the program very affordable through the Odell Weeks Community Center and we provide initial equipment and as the students go up in levels and b gain ranks through the academy, we end up with um, in encouraging them to get their own equipment. Um, typically, they buy their lightsabers first and then their right. protective equipment next. Yeah. And these are sabers that you can actually hit. Yeah, oh, sure. These, aren't, these actually, aren't the like the store no, ones. No, no, no. This, this is not what you'd buy down in Disney World where exactly. you know Timmy <laughs> and Mike come out, they hit each other, now you have $600 of dead sabers. Well, these, <laughs> exactly. are, these are purpose built. Uh, for this, uh, we charge just to make sure, just as an add-on, we charge twenty-five dollars a month. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's for four classes, and we do that to make it affordable for those kids who can't afford to do anything yeah. else. And for, based, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, for yeah. anybody that's interested, where can you go to get more information to join uh, the academy? We're primarily based out of Facebook. Uh, so Aiken Saber Academy, uh, we punch well above our weight in terms of being a little, uh, you know, small town. Uh, right. But we have uh, an international following on the uh, Aiken Saber Academy on Facebook. All right, this is amazing. There you go, lightsaberacademy.com. Uh, we're actually going to get a demonstration a little bit later. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're hoping oh, we're to teach you a little choreography. Teach. Okay. That means we're involved. Yes, <laughs> correct. I'm excited. Right. This, this sounds can, cool. This can only end badly. Uh, <laughs> this is up my alley. Right. Right. <laughs> we'll Thank you. I promise it won't end badly. We've done this many times before. We oh. usually get a mom out of an event. Uh, usually their kids volunteer them. They don't want to do it, and it always works out fine. We haven't killed one yet. Okay. Oh, good news. Well, I guess our expendable guy would be Tim, right? <laughs> <laughs> Time to have some fun. How about that? Zaina right. is over in our... What do we call this? The uh, space room. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here in the galaxy, and so I think you have to come over here too. But uh, right now, we're going to learn some techniques. That's what we were going right, over exactly. with the commander oh, here. I can, I can see. So we're going to teach you a little bit of choreography. We're going to teach you three techniques. Then we're going to put it all together. Okay. And then it is you're going to be the Jedi, blue saber. I'm going to be the Sith. All right. So the first technique is called a duo. All, all right. right. You ready? Here we go. And it goes one, two, one, two, one, two. Walk towards me. Two. Three, four, good, okay. that's it, that's all. Real simple, right? Right. Okay, next one's a quad, so there's four moves, and it's one, two, three, Hello. and four. Okay. All right, once again, and it's one, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, okay. you are a natural. Oh, look at that. All right, Where one. else in the CSRA are you gonna get entertainment <laughs> like this, ladies and, and gentlemen? And the final one's called the pence. Pence is five, so it's like the quad with that overhead block. So okay. it's one, Two, three, four, 
And remember the block? Remember the, yeah, I the block. block. Okay. All right, you got it? Got it. All right, now we're going to actually have the action sequence. And in the action sequence, you come across a, a Sith, and at the end, you have to disarm me or oh. something else. Can I you wish do we that? had the soundtrack to join this. Well, yeah. <laughs> we do, we do need that. All right, here we go. So we're going to start with the duo. Ready? As one, two, one, two, quad. One, two, three, four, pence. One, two, three, four, boom. Go down, go down, go down, oh, go down. Oh, and then push off. Get... There you go. There Woo! you go. I think I won. All right, I am, I am suitable. I think impressed. I think Cliff needs to get in here too. Oh, did okay, you learn? Right. Did you learn all that? Did you get it? You want to? You want to take on? Well, the, the audience man. doesn't know, but but Cliff said he's got stage combat, so hey, it now. ought to look really good. Hey, yeah. And he's going to work with instructor. That Nick. means that means I am so going to lose <laughs> <laughs> so, so badly. We are going to oh, step yeah, we're, we're gonna fight Let you guys right, go. Come on. Yeah. First, right. so, first, good grip. Here we go. All right. So we'll Let's do go. the duo first. So it's just one, two, one, two, one, okay. two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. And then we'll do four, one, two, and then low. Okay. So it's one, two up high, and then three and four down low. And now we're going to add one where I'm going to attack you over the top of the head, and we'll give you a high block. Okay. Exactly. So one, one two, two, three, four. Oh. And then push me off. Oh. There it goes. <laughs> Cut them in half, folks. There you go. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Oh, yeah. this is cool. Oh, we love this. And like I said, these are the sabers. How, how expensive are these sabers? All right, because so we have, we have a lot of sabers with us. This is an, actually an English combat saber. So okay. this came from England, and it's kind of Kylo Ren-like. Um, it's built strictly for combat. But sabers will run anywhere from 130 to... Several thousand. Several thousand. Right. So we have one over there that's $600. I don't usually show it too often. Uh, and we're because, not using that one today. Yeah, but, no. but that one... <laughs> That one actually has an app, so you use the app to change the colors. Nick brought one. Do you have your sure. NeoPixel? So most sabers have just a little light source in it, like a little ah, flashlight. You hear it? But Nick has one that is a, the light source is actually in the Ooh. blade. So NeoPixels are a little bit more expensive, generally not used for combat. They're really great for showing off. Yep. And they come, you can buy sabers without sound. They're called stunt sabers or combat sabers. Right. And that's what the ones we're using here. Right. Which is the ones we're using. They're built strictly for this. Or you can just go up from there. 130 will get you a sound card in it, and it'll make all sorts of weird sounds, and you can change the colors and stuff. You go up to 600, 700, you go to NeoPixel, and now you've got all sorts of different animations. You can do like flame and the thing will rotate and pulsate and do whatever you want to do. So it's, a, it's an interesting thing. There's a lot of different activities. So what we're doing is combat, right. yep. there's choreography, there's something called flow, you actually have a flow saber. That's a oh. contact saber. Right. Right. So if you knew what you were doing, and I won't show you because Which I hit I myself don't. in the head, if you notice there's a little <laughs> ball on it, you can actually spin that thing and it'll wrap around your neck and sort of like wow. uh, you would see with a fire uh, juggler kind right. of thing. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. it's a very, uh, that is strictly for stunts. Okay. For performance and then, stunts, And then yeah. finally you've got people who just go cosplay. They wear a uniform or a costume, and we've both done that. We wear a costume, I'm a little old, I'm a little heavy for doing it, but I'll do it. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my lightsaber with me, and I'll walk around and just feel like I'm actually in Star Wars. Well, so, and there there are a number of conventions around here. Dragon Con, you have a Gamma Con, right. mm -hmm. and just to hit on what you guys were saying a little earlier, leadership skills. This is confidence building. Yeah, uh, the, I mean, when you put a student through a training program in a regimen where they're learning a routine and then they go out into the public and perform that routine, um, we're building confidence in them. We're teaching them how to lead, how to be in front of others and perform as well as be a representative of the sport and the hobby. Yeah, for one of our ranks, it's a requirement that you do a public choreography. Mm -hmm. And so you, we get a lot of uh, high functioning and also homeschool kids who don't, may not necessarily have the same skills, social skills as you would in a, in a private high school. And, and using our system, um, by the time we've been with them for a month or two months, you, they're standing up tall, they're willing to take on leadership, they're willing to train others. It's a, it's a pretty amazing thing to watch a, a young person grow with our, with our school. Oh, Such a great thing. really cool. We yeah. really appreciate you guys coming on the show. We'll Our have pleasure. to have you back. Yes, you know, you. I know we don't have time right now, but I think they needed to do a little demonstration. We did it with the rookies, but <laughs> we might bring them back. Yeah, in maybe, maybe we next time, time we'll bring a couple of students. And oh, actually have we them love do a that. Star Wars we love that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you for thank having you us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank